Hello and welcome everyone. So today we're gonna be checking out UPDF, which is a PDF editor with advanced AI features. This is gonna be very useful whether you're a student, professional, or just someone who deals with PDFs regularly. So I'll be showing you what UPDF has to offer. Uh, short disclaimer, UPDF did not sponsor this video, but they did offer me a one year free pro account so that I can showcase the different tools and features of UPDF Pro along with their UPDF AI. So let's get started by opening the UPDF app and importing a PDF file. So to start, we can double click the UPDF icon to open the app. So once we're here, we can see our recently opened PDFs. But since it's going to be your first time opening the app, you can choose this thing that says open file and we can just click or choose a PDF that we want to open. After that, we press open so that it can be imported to the PDF app. Now, let's start by showing the AI features that they offer. So, UPDF offers a variety of conversion options, making it easy to convert your PDFs to different formats. They also allow you to chat with AI to get summaries, translations, and explanations of your PDF content. So let's show you how you can do each one of these in your PDF. If you select a certain portion in the PDF, you can choose this thing that says UPDF AI and it will show you the three things you can do with the PDF, which is to summarize, translate, and explain. For example, we want to get a summary of this portion of the PDF, so we can just click on summarize and UPDF will have it summarized for you. This is how the summarize feature works. You can also ask it to explain the portion of the text you select in order to digest lighter information and to understand the information better. And you can also translate it to a different language. So let's say that's translate. Let's translate it to Japanese. UPDF will translate this portion of the text into Japanese. You can also choose other languages if you want. So now I imported a book to show you how to use the mind map feature. So basically you can choose this icon at the bottom right that has the UPDF icon. As you can see here, I type create a mind map from page blank to blank. So it will create the mind map right here and this is how it looks like. So since information is pretty heavy, the mind map is also pretty big and hard to understand at one glance. But let's say the information you selected is not that long, the mind map will also be very small and fairly easy to understand. They also offer this thing called chat with images where you can click this icon at the bottom right, click on chat and paste your image and you can extract the text within that image through UPDF AI. After that, you can copy the extracted text and paste it to um, whatever document you need it on. You can also use the Ask PDF feature, which is beside the chat feature. Basically, Ask PDF allows you to ask certain information about the PDF document. And UPDF would gladly answer based on the information within the PDF. So for example, here I ask what are the two different categories of pre-consumer waste and our UPDF provided me with the two categories, which are pre-production waste and post-production waste. This information can also be found within the PDF, 
but since it's a very lengthy PDF, you can use the Ask PDF feature within UPDF app. These AI features, Chatting PDF and PDF to Mind Map, are all available in Windows and Mac. UPDF also offers different conversion features. That is, you can convert a PDF to Excel, Word, or PowerPoint. In this case, we'll be trying to convert it to Word. As you can see, we now have the PDF in the Word app, Microsoft Word. So we can actually edit the text and select it, copy and paste like a normal Word document. So yeah, you can edit text here. You can add text, which is pretty convenient, especially for students, professionals, or any person who constantly needs to edit or annotate and submit some things in Word or in other formats. Apart from these conversion features, you can also convert it to OCR, which allows the PDF to be selected or edited. If you, for example, have a scanned document, you can't really select the text and copy it. But with OCR feature, it converts the scanned document to a searchable PDF or an image-only PDF. In this case, since we have a scan document, it's already an image only. So we have to convert it to a searchable PDF so that we can select the text. So simply click perform OCR so that it can be converted into a searchable PDF. All right, this is now the OCR converted document. So it means that we can now select the text on this PDF. You can also edit it compared to the other one, which we cannot select. We can also change the color of the text if we want. So for example, let's change the color to orange. It can be applied, so it is now orange. Now let's move on to the additional UPDF features, which I personally tried and I really liked. It really helps me become more productive with my schoolwork. All right, so the first feature is annotating. So if you look at the left panel of this app, you can see this icon and it says comment. You can select a portion of the PDF and annotate by adding sticky notes and highlighting them. This is very useful, especially for students who read lectures in PDFs. Once you hover your mouse over the selected text, the annotated information can be seen. The next feature is edit PDF. So edit PDF is basically just editing it like in a word file. You can change the color, you can make it bold, italicized, etc. So right now it's in purple. You can change it to other colors, but we'll change it back to black. Yeah, this is how you could edit it using UPDF. Next is prepare form. So basically here we have different tools that you can use. We can also add a digital signature here. You can edit the things you want to include in a certain form. Lots of options, lots of editing. Next is redact. So redaction is if you want to black out and remove sensitive content. But you have to consider that this is permanent so you cannot undo this. So I'll just show you how redaction looks like. So it's basically just like a black rectangle that you put over a certain text. Then if you want to apply it, just click apply. Next, we can organize pages. So if you want to put a certain page by the end of the PDF, you can do that. You can also delete PDFs. You can insert new ones and you can combine two different PDFs and reorganize them. You can also flip, delete, and rotate a page if you want it to be landscape or portrait.
Next is the crop page section where you can resize the pages. And lastly, we have the watermark. So you can add your own watermark in the PDF. So you just have to type what watermark you want to include in the PDF. And then you can choose different layouts and orientations. You can also choose fonts that you want to use for the watermark. Another pretty cool thing in UPDF is the ability to protect a PDF using passwords. You can choose document open or permission passwords. So document open passwords require passwords when you open a document. So you can input a password that you want to apply to the PDF and it will apply. So every time you open that certain PDF, it requires you to input a password like this one. So yeah, make sure to check the link below for an exclusive discount for UPDF Pro since UPDF can actually be installed for free but they are offering an exclusive discount for UPDF Pro so make sure to check the link below and UPDF also provides a perpetual payment where you can pay once and use it forever so these features can be used forever and you can just pay once so that's one thing I really like about the app and I think it's very convenient to just pay once instead of having a monthly subscription especially if you don't really have a secure source of income yet like if you're a student or you're just starting in a business so I hope this video helps you guys become more productive and use the application um, to your benefits and I wish you guys the best in your endeavors Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.